Okay, in the next video, we want to look at integrating the footwork that we've looked at to our basic wrestling postas. In doing it, looking at solo work, there's, you know, you can do a lot of work on perfecting your body postures and creating that looseness and relaxation that you want in your body positions, integrating that to the footwork and uh, applying that to your movement. So if we look at our basic neutral stance and our foundational wrestling uh, posta, which is the iron gate position, you should be loose, relaxed, and comfortable. There shouldn't be any tension in the arms. It should be just loose and relaxed. From the position of relaxation comes your quickest motion. Uh, if you have any tension in the body, you have to first release it before you can move. So we want to make sure that when we're working these basic posta positions that we remain relaxed. So when we look at the countering posta from the iron gate position, we come to frontale. And here we are in the frontal position, elbows pointed towards the ground, hands up at the, at the height of the shoulders. And of course, we want to also keep this nice and loose and controlled. And you want to be, be able to also feel a connection between the hands all the way through the shoulders into the back and be able to push off the ground and bring that energy out into the hands. So this is where the relaxation in the body becomes critical because if there's tension, you disconnect yourself from the ground. You want to keep connected. Now I can move forward and back. I can do my, my voltas, my turns from these postas, and we can come back to the iron gate. We look at the other two postas that are connected. We have our posta longa position, which is extended, hand forward, could be a fist, could be a grip, could be any sort of action happening down here. The trailing hand again, down in the iron gate position, loose and relaxed. There should be a line between the shoulder all the way down to the toe down here because the energy that I'm going to bring into the hand or absorb from the hand has to go through the body into the ground. When we look at the countering posta to the, uh, to the posta longa, we have the boar's tooth position. Again, the trailing hand is loose and relaxed. Could be in any sort of orientation that you need in the context of the combat, but the boar's tooth position Good solid knife hand here, edge of, the, edge of the arm against the opposition of force in line with the pinky finger. And of course we can make transitions from all of these positions and connect it to our motion.